And I will see you at BDB Live, the number one transformational event for businessmen like you and I, and the only one that talks about being three-dimensional with the best speakers in the world, the best trainings in the world, and the best network in the world. Welcome to the stage, Nicholas Fairley. How do I start the tribe? What can I do? What's the next thing I can do? Most unselfish thing a person could do is expand. No other option besides hard work. How they can live this three-dimensional lifestyle. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Billion Dollar Brotherhood podcast. I'm your host, Nicholas Barely. I'm flying this one solo because I want to keep it real with you guys, share something from my heart and something that I've been waiting and wanting to share for the last 15 months. Now with that, if you've been watching or listening to the show for any length of time now, you're going to want to watch to the very end of this video. You're not going to want to miss it. It'll be timely. It'll be costly if you do not. And I just want to look out for our community. You're going to want to listen to the very end. This is really, really big. Again, 15 months in the making. Haven't been able to talk about this. And now I am. I got good news and bad news around it. Now, this is your very first time. You're also going to want to listen to the very end because this may be that perfect moment that somehow you tuned in at that right time to take advantage of an opportunity and something that's going on inside of our community. Now, if you guys don't know me very well, I'm I'm Nicholas Bailey, of course. Yet I was 60 pounds overweight. I graduated high school with a 1.8 GPA. I had no job, no career, no girlfriend for seven years throughout that time. I ended up meeting my dream woman, losing the 60 pounds in the opposite order, and then also going out there and failing in business afterwards, not being able to provide for my wife as the businessman to launching a business, doing multiple six figures, and then going, man, I feel that I'm not doing, not contributing the way that I want to launched the billion dollar brotherhood that's became a multi seven figure brand. And on top of that has transformed tens of thousands of men's lives all over the world. And our passion and our goal is to not just equip men to build a business, but to do it without sacrificing their personal life inside of a thing that we call brotherhood. That is the number one fastest way for a businessman to succeed, not only in business, but also in the three dimensions of life, health, wealth, and relationships that you cannot outsource. That's what we're here to do. Yet I remember about a year ago from today, having to make a decision that was really difficult. See, every single man here is a leader and every leader has a message and every message has to be spoken confidently out there in the world to make a difference. You think about Jesus 2021 years ago, coming into this earth, we now call it 2021 AD, and then there was BC. That's a pretty big deal. It means he's pretty influ influential. He was a leader. He had a message and he went out there and he spoke it out to the masses. For us, we had the same exact thing. I remember a year ago having to call our guys inside of our community and not just cancel to, and push back two different events. I then had to reschedule one of our events called BDB Live. This was very, very difficult for us. I think I have six figures invested in these events myself. Many of that, much of that money I'll never see again, tied up, people won't return it, et cetera. I've just had to come to grips with that. But I, it's like lighting money on fire I had to go through in that first instance of pushing back those events. And then again, BDB Live, I had to push it back again and not just change it the date, but I actually had to change the format in which we did the live event. Now, I remember back in 2017, we had our and hosted our very first BDB Live. This was a very difficult decision for us as well. So we're not new to adversity. This was just our first adversity for the event came from the very first one. It was 2016. We had the idea. 2017, we're going to launch the live event. The whole point around it was that before that, we were a health company helping men that owned a business lose weight. Though that was really amazing and very fulfilling, while I was coaching these 600 plus guys, I realized that throughout that experience, that if their business wasn't optimized, they didn't have the time, the money, the resources in order to actually live a healthy lifestyle. The stress, the weight, the hours, et cetera, that's not optimized. It was really difficult. I saw that if their relationship was failing, dude, it was really difficult to show up confidently in your health. What was the point? If your relationship's failing, the business is failing. So I started noticing that as I plugged the hole of the health category, if you're on a boat and you plug one hole of the health category, the problem was is that just all the pressure went to the other areas and it still filled up the boat with water. And we could sit there and we could try to scoop it out all day by just plugging one hole. But I saw, wow, these are the three areas that no man can outsource. And I thought, how am I supposed to get this message out there? I've seen it transform my life, right? I was overweight, got healthy. No relationship, got married. 
the confidence that came from that and the skill sets to build the business. I said, man, you can have it all. You don't have to sacrifice family. You don't have to sacrifice your health. You don't have to sacrifice the business. You don't have to be just a, a great family man making no money. You don't have to be a guy making tons of money with five divorces, terrible relationship with the family. And you don't have to be that traditional businessman that's overweight, out of shape, cracked out on cocaine, drinking every single night till his freaking head falls off. You don't have to be that guy. You do not have to drink like a fish to be successful or to deal with stress. And I thought, how? what's the best way to get this message out there into the world? What's the best way to equip this? What's the best way to do this? And what's the best format that we've seen that's been able to help transform these men's lives? And that came down to brotherhood. At the end of the day, it was the community they surrounded themselves with, the ideals that they had, the goals that they had. It's like if you're around pro golfers and you play golf, you're probably going to play golf better. If you're around healthy people, it's really difficult to eat unhealthy. They're only eating at healthy restaurants. They're only buying healthy food. They're only cooking healthy food. So by just proximity, you become healthy. And also the capacity of the businessman, helping them discover what are they great at? What do they have capacity to grow in? And these two things together, equipping them with the right talent, skills, and abilities, but that by itself wasn't good enough because I failed in business for years, having all the YouTube videos and knowledge out there in the world, I failed. And then not just having community, there's lots of rich people that are around rich people and they have kids that grow up around rich, successful people, but they are not successful because they have not been taught the skills and equipped with the things to succeed. And I was like, what's the way that we could do that? And I launched BDB Live 1.0. Super difficult, very tough, big investment up front, six figure investment with no return, right? I sold all the tickets and I still didn't even break even on the event. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much stress, so much pressure. But we believed in that vision, mission and vision enough. Going to year two where we only sell one thing at BDB Live and it's our stuff. Hey, like if you want to be a part of our community, well then join it. And if you don't, well then don't. And either way, it's totally fine. And inside of that, like I went through the pressures of, I told people what our event was all about and what they could invest in and all our power went out the second year. So I went to bed with no one knowing what we did while working months and months and months on this event with like dozens of people that are involved with everything from volunteers to employees. And knowing that all of that was a complete waste, meaning that the only thing, the fuel of the business and the, what we teach at our events is money. Money is the oxygen of the business, right? They say that money is not the most important thing, but it's right up there with breathing. Well, for a business, money is breathing. That's the only way that it breathes. And for us, we had put months and months, hundreds of thousands of dollars, sold all the tickets, not even breaking even. And then nobody knew about how we actually impacted people through our company. And I felt sick to my stomach. It was terrible. And year three, we did it on Father's Day. That was super difficult. So every single year, we've had these like adversities. And each year, we've seen the massive transformations from year one, getting the brotherhood, the message out there and having our first 25 elite members to year two, even after the power going out, of having 40 plus members join our elite programs and walk out of there and see transformations, hundreds of thousands of dollars, deals go down and lives transform to year number three, having the most amount of fathers on Father's Day that we've ever had our, at our events, having people again, leave there transformed to year four leading into 2020 was super difficult. I remember having to push back the event from not only postponing it, but actually having to take it from in-person to virtual with money wrapped up and hotel contracts and photographers and videographers and all these different things to having to invest in building an entire pop-up studio of how we're going to run an event on 30 days notice to then selling virtual tickets. It was absolutely insane. Yet again, the impact was insane. The experience was out at, like out of this world. So leading into 2020 of, uh, are we going to be able to do events? Are we going to be able to go back to normal? Are we going to be able to do in person? Or am I going to invest again and have people shut it down? And then I'm going to have all this money tied up again. And it was a dumb mistake and all these different things. And to be honest, like my family and I, and my son born and all these different things, it would have been a lot easier not to host this live event. It would have been a lot easier just to do it virtual again. I have the six studio set up. If we had to go virtual for the rest of our life, I have the ability to be able to do that. And it really came down to what's the most impactful for our men? What can we do to make the biggest impact? And what can we do with the knowledge and give excellence with the skill sets and knowledge base that we have right now? And that's what we came down to, the decision that we need to make this thing happen. So we started searching hotels and it came with nothing short of, again, pushback big companies booking out all the hotels. And we finally found this perfect spot, Hilton Garden Inn, brand new, brand new event room right next to the domain here in Austin, Texas. Kind of leads me to my big announcement, which was the thought was that I was going to say, hey, we're going to go all virtual. 
or we're not going to do the event at all. Like we may just postpone it for a whole year. It's too crazy, whatever to man, this is what we're called to do. Look at the transformation we've created. We're not going to stand down in a time where the world needs us the most. We're not going to stand down time that businessman needs us the most. The, the business landscape has changed over the last year. The relationship atmosphere has changed over the last year. Health has changed over the last year. And if we are not equipped to attack it, we're going to fall back. Many people want to go back to how things were. No. Many people want to progress with what's going on. No. It's time to create a new reality. And the way we're going to do that is through BDB Live 5.0. The big announcement is we're going to be hosting it October 8th through 10th in Austin, Texas, right next to the best outdoor mall that I've ever seen in my entire life, right across the street with 24-7 action while being in an epic event space that's brand new where we're going to have VIP dinners, we're going to have connection calls beforehand, we're going to have amazing speakers, but the experience of brotherhood that's going to be like any unlike any year that we've ever had. Year one, transformational. Year two, transformational. Year three, transformational. Year four, online transformational. Yet this year is after people have been lacking the connection, lacking that surrounding, lacking that environment, coming back in full force. It's going to be even more impactful than any event that we've ever done stand alone, yet even more impactful because we have not been able to host this event in person for well over 15 months where I've been waiting, 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 waiting. When can we come back to in-person events, but do them in a way that's not like the old ones, not like today, but in a brand new way that has never been done before. So what you're going to want to do right now is head to bdblive.com, check out October 8th through 10th, Austin, Texas. If it's something where you have something booked, move it. If you're getting married, dude, I got pastors at the event. They can marry you. If you have family in town, great, bring them. If you're planning on dying before then, postpone that crap and freaking show up to this event. BDBlive.com, October 8th through 10th in Austin, Texas. It's going to be a phenomenal time where we can create an impact and a transformation again. And it all starts with us all coming together. Now, this event will sell out. It sold out every single year. This event will definitely sell out because this will actually be one of our smaller environments that we've ever done. We'll be breaking at the seams if you look at the proportion of how our community has grown with the amount of people that have bought tickets in the past. It's going to sell out. It'll be sold out. And it'll be the perfect people that are there. And I know that if you're listening to this, that is you. So make sure to grab your ticket, get registered, Get committed, get inside the private Facebook group, the connection calls leading up to it. And I will see you at BDB Live, the number one transformational event for businessmen like you and I, and the only one that talks about being three-dimensional with the best speakers in the world, the best trainings in the world, and the best network in the world. How do I know? Because you will be there. And I'm excited to shake your hand, say hello, and introduce you to the community that we have that will transform your life forever. If you've been before, you already know, grab your ticket. If this is your first time, dude, go all in. We have an end of event money back guarantee. Go to the event, all the sessions, you don't think it was worth it, you can have your money back. The only way you lose is if you don't register. End of story. I will see you at BDB Live. I'm excited to do more interviews here on the BDB podcast. I appreciate you, and I will see you in Austin, Texas, October 8th through 10th.